If your phone's been lagging on you, apps are opening up slowly, or the battery is draining out faster than you can say update available, don't worry. In the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you on screen real things that you can do on your phone at home without factory resetting it and losing all your data. That's going to clean it up, make it faster without any sketchy apps needing to be downloaded, okay? This is all stuff you can do on your own phone. Let's check it out. Okay, so the first one up on the list is those background apps and refresh. Basically what they do is they refresh in the background, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the settings on our phone. It always looks like this gear icon. We're gonna go to general in the list, select general, and we're gonna look for background app refresh, okay? Now this is gonna give us a whole list of the background apps that are refreshing on our phone. But what does that mean, refresh, right? Well, that means it allows apps to refresh their content when on Wi-Fi or cellular network, okay, in the background. Turning off apps may help preserve battery life. So even they admit that turning some of this off will in fact uh, save your battery life. And it also just helps with the phone's overall performance and keeping it from slowing down. So get in here, turn some of these off. All right, and while we're in settings, we've got one more in the general section. So again, settings, general, and look for storage, okay? iPhone storage for iPhone or just storage on your Android phones, okay? Once we're inside storage, you'll see an option that says offload unused apps, okay? Pretty simple, make sure that that is enabled or you can hit enable. I would free up here, you see, 8.96 gigabytes of data and it would also help to uh, with the performance again this is all about improving the performance and the speed of our phone so i could turn that on and that would definitely help out with freeing up that unused application data okay all right now we want to hop back to the general settings page so just in settings and find our option called accessibility what we're looking for in here is to turn off or limit the motion and transparency effects okay so if we go into accessibility we scroll down to motion, which is one of the options listed. We choose to reduce motion, okay? On Android, what you would do is go into the developer options, window animated scale, and set that down to 0.5x or off, right? Okay, so I'll have those instructions down in the description if you have Android on how to do that. But for iPhone, it's gonna be settings, accessibility, find motion in your list, like I did here, and then we're going to go ahead and reduce motion by toggling that on, okay? Now a note on this one, it will make the animations look um, not as great, right? So the anima animations are going to be not as great as they usually look. It's really not that bad, but those can slow down the lower end phones or older phones. If you have a newer model, you could leave this on if you miss the way it looked, but it's all cosmetic. Most people don't notice a difference, but if you do, you can leave it on. This is just an optional one I wanted to add in. Okay, for the next one, we're gonna turn off the automatic downloads option in our app store, okay? And for again, for you Android users out there, you have the Play Store, you can do this same thing. It's just a little different and I'll have those instructions down in the description, okay? What you're gonna wanna do is go into your settings, head over to the app store, it, which is in the apps list and look for automatic downloads and turn that off okay i'm showing here in the, uh, the video how this is done turning this off can help to free up the ram those widgets in the background app updates that happen they eat up ram okay it's better for you to go in and do those when you want to do them instead of them being automatic all the time so that's another great way to free up some some um, ram on the phone and to make it a little bit faster again talking about improving import performance for the phone now another one that can be really important that people overlook is just restarting the phone, okay? A simple restart does a lot more than you think. It clears those stuck memory processes that are stuck there if anything's getting buggy or, or you know stuck in the background that you don't see. Um, think of it as you're kind of giving your phone a quick nap before a big day, right? So restarting the phone every now and then, I know that seems simple, but a lot of people forget that it's just a little computer. So you have to restart it from time to time. Give it a restart. These things are small. They need that heat cycle, that power cycle, that'll help a lot, okay? Now I wanna give you one last little tip before you go. This one is gonna be actually more of a security um, tip, okay? So if we go into our settings and go to privacy and security, look for location services, 
we can toggle this off for apps that we don't want to have our location. If they don't need your location all the time, turn that off. There's no reason for them to have it. Keeps you a little bit safer. Keeps your uh, location private, which I think makes everybody sleep a little bit better at the end of the night. That's it, everybody. No factory resetting, no uh, you know, sketchy apps like we talked about. It's just a few smart settings that you can tweak and change. It makes a really big difference, okay? If this helped you out, please drop a comment down below. Love to hear from you. Love to hear what you would like to see next. So if you have ideas or videos that you'd like to see, throw them down in the comments. Love to hear about it. If you have an iPhone or an Android, leave that there as well. I like to see what you know, who has what, what the percentage is, and. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe while you're down there. Please definitely hit that before you go so I can see you on the next one.